Hi, I'm Mrs. Trenier, and I teach music at John Rogers Elementary. Go Otters! And I miss my students very much, so I'm glad to be here sharing a music lesson with you today. I'm also at home with my family and my pets and taking walks around the neighborhood. This is a rhythm lesson where we will talk about our feelings, warm up our bodies, share a story together, and create our very own rhythms. For this lesson, you will need something to write on and something to write with. At John Rogers, we use the mood meter to talk about our feelings. Do you talk about this at your school? On the mood meter, there are four colors. Red stands for the feelings like angry and upset and afraid. Blue stands for the feelings like sad and bored and lonely. Green stands for feelings like calm, comfy, and cared for. And yellow stands for feelings like happy, brave, and excited. Today, we're gonna to have a song that helps us share our feelings with each other. It goes like this. Welcome to music, glad to see you here. Hey, how you feeling today? How you feeling? Oh, we like to say hello, hello. Oh, we like to say hello, hello. I'm gonna give you a chance to show how you're feeling with your body. Welcome to music, glad to see you here. Hey, how you feeling today? If you're feeling red, touch your head. If you're feeling blue, touch your shoe. If you're feeling green, kind of lean. If you're feeling yellow, wave hello. Oh, we like to say hello, hello, oh, we like to say hello, hello. Let's try that one more time together. Welcome to music, glad to see you here. Hey, how you feeling today? How you feeling? Oh, we like to say hello, hello, oh, we like to say hello, hello. Nice job. If you touched your head because you were feeling in the red, here's a tip from some of the students at John Rogers Elementary for you. You can try a balloon breath. It looks like this. It helps us take a nice big breath and that can help our brains and bodies feel calmer and more together. So let's try it, ready? Nice job. If you touched your shoe because you were in the blue, something that might help you is thinking about something you like to do or people that you like to be with. I'm thinking of my dog right now. I love to play with him. What are you thinking of? That can really help us feel more in the yellow and green feelings. Thanks for thinking about that with me. Now we're gonna play our animal freeze game. Make sure you have somewhere safe to move and you can move your body like the animals we sing about in our song. Are you ready? Waddle, waddle like a penguin any way you please. Waddle, waddle all around but stop when I say freeze. Freeze! Swim. Are you ready? Chomp, chomp, like a crock, any way you please. Chomp, chomp, all around, but stop when I say freeze. Freeze! Stomp, stomp, like an elephant, any way you please. Stomp, stomp, all around, but stop when I say freeze. Freeze! Now pick your favorite animal.
here's a great story with one of the animals that we just sang about. It's called Tanka Tanka Skunk, and it's about two friends who love to play the drums. Let's learn a special part that we can say together when we read the book, and it goes like this. Skunka Tanka Skunka Tanka 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 Skunk. Try it with me. Skunka Tanka Skunka Tanka 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 Skunk. Since our friends love to play the drums, let's turn our bodies into drums. Some people call that body percussion. You can put skunka's part on your shoulders like this, skunka. Try it with me, skunka. And tanka's part can go on our laps like this, tanka. Try it with me, tanka. And then when we say skunk's part at the very end, let's tap both our shoulders at the same time like this, skunk. Ready to try the whole thing with me? Let's go slow the first time, skunka, tank. Ga. Skunka, tanka, 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 skunk. Maybe a little faster this time. Skunka, tanka, skunka, tanka, 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 skunk. Nice job. Now you're ready for our story. Tanka, tanka, skunk by Steve Webb. Stamp your feet to the skunka, tanka beat. This is Tanka. What animal from our freeze dance is he? And this is Skunk. I think we know what he is. They love to play the drums. Say their names together and hear the beat. Like this. Skunka, Tanka, Skunka, Tanka, 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 Skunk. Remember the pattern? Let's drum it together. Skunka, Tanka. Skunka, skunka, tanka, 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 skunk. This is kangaroo. His name has three beats. Kangaroo. Say it with me. Kangaroo. And this is caterpillar. His name has four beats. Cat er pillar. Say it with me. Cat er pillar. Remember our skunka tanka pattern? Let's drum it together. Skunka, tanka, skunka, tanka, 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 skunk. Tiger, cheetah, tiger, cheetah, panda, polar bear. Together. Tiger, cheetah, tiger, cheetah, panda, polar bear. Here come our friends again. Skunka, tanka, skunka, tanka. Tanka, tanka, skunk. Lemur, llama, llama, lemur, zebra, badger, bat. Say it with me. Lemur, llama, llama, lemur, zebra, badger, bat. Cat, er, pill, er, big gorilla. Yakety, yakety, yak. Say it with me. Cat, er, pill, er, Big gorilla, yakety, yakety, yak. And here come our friends again. Skunka, tanka, skunka, tanka, 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 skunk. Beaver, otter, badger, beaver, dingo, donkey, duck. Say it with me. Beaver, otter, badger, beaver, dingo, donkey, duck. Panda, panther. Their tiger, zebra, alligator, fox. Say it with me. Panda, panther, tiger, zebra, alligator, fox. Tiny little hairy spider, armadillo, ox. Say it with me. Tiny little hairy spider, armadillo, ox. Ant eater, ant eater, big blue whale. Say it with me. Ant. Eater, ant, eater, big, blue, whale. Here's our friends again. Skunka, tanka, skunka, tanka, 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 skunk. Once more from the top, faster this time, please. Skunka, tanka, skunka, tanka, 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 skunk. You can make your own rhythm out of animals. Think of some animals you love and put their names together to make a rhythm. Like, I really like cats.
cats and I love my cat. So I'm gonna use cat and I'll put cat on my head because he really likes to be patted on his head. And maybe think of an animal from our story that you liked. I really liked the llama. So we'll use llama and I'll drum llama on my elbows. So if I put my words together to make a pattern, I might come up with something like this. Cat, llama, llama, cat. Try my pattern with me. Cat, llama, llama, cat. What pattern do you want? Think about it. Try drumming it somewhere on your body. Try drumming it somewhere on your body. When you perform a rhythm in a pattern like this over and over again, it's called an ostinato. Let's try my ostinato. Cat, llama, llama, cat. Cat, llama, llama, cat. Cat, llama, llama, cat. What's your ostinato? Now it's time to get something to write on and something to write with. If you like to draw, you can draw your animal or you can write their name. Go ahead and put it on your paper right now. Writing or drawing your ideas is a great way to remember it so that you can show someone else your ideas. So uh, if you have something to write on, one thing you can do is fold that piece of paper in half and fold that in half again. And then you'll have four places to write out your different animal ideas. So since uh, my first animal idea was a cat, I'm gonna start with drawing just a quick cat head to remind me that the word was cat. And then my second word was llama. So I'm gonna do just a quick llama. I know they have long necks and long ears. So there's my llama picture. And I remember my second word was also a llama. So I'm gonna draw another llama. And then last of all, I had another cat. So I'm gonna draw my cat one more time in the last square. And then if you want to, you can write their names down. You could just write their names. You don't have to draw their picture. All right. If you learn how to draw or write rhythms, you can add those to your animal ostinato. Here's how adding rhythms might look on your page. So I know cat has one sound and llama has two. And I'm drawing the rhythms that go with each. One sound to a beat and two sounds to a beat. So that's how the rhythms might look if you had one and two sound animals. Now you can share your rhythm with someone you love. Try it. Thank you for making music with me today. I hope you liked sharing your feelings, moving your body to an animal freeze dance, sharing our story together, and creating your very own rhythm. And hopefully you got to share it with somebody. I hope to see you again very soon. Bye for now.